Online dating has become a hugely lucrative global enterprise. And one of the biggest players is a Vancouver site called Plenty of Fish. These sites promise confidentiality to their users. But as Teresa Lalonde reports, that's not always a guarantee. Plenty of Fish is a local success story. Marcus Friend graduated from BCIT and since 2003 is almost single-handedly run a simple dating site that's now worth millions of dollars. We have over 26 million people signed up. Friend claims his site was attacked by a man who just wanted to get attention. He threatened to make the data public unless Plenty of Fish hired him as a security expert. Today Friend issued a statement. We are aware from our logs that 345 accounts were successfully exported. Plenty of Fish is bringing on several security companies to perform an external security audit and will take all measures necessary to make sure its users are safe. The CEO of Plenty of Fish says once he was alerted to the security breach, he patched it up in 60 seconds. But that news isn't enough for some account users to feel safe. When you're getting a weekly email from customer care telling you that, you know, there are more matches and here's your password in plain text, unencrypted, and there's your username. I mean, you don't even need to be a computer genius to realize that that's just dumb. Stephanie Cameron says Plenty of Fish is a large company, but run like a home business. In past magazine interviews, Friend says he works just one hour a day in his office, yet the site makes millions in ad revenue. Just because your site's free doesn't mean that you can shirk your responsibilities. You know, you do have an obligation to your membership. Plenty of Fish has changed all its users' passwords. It's emailing them the new login information. But it issued a warning. If you've used the same login here and on another website, you should change that as well. Teresa Lalonde, CBC News, Vancouver.